1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon. I'm Karen Pence, Assistant Dean, and it's my honor to welcome each of you on this joyous occasion. We in the College of Human Ecology join family and friends in celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of spring 2018. At this time, I invite you to stand and join. <laughs> Sorry. But <laughs> At this time, I invite you to stand and join Macy Burkett, Senior in Apparel and Textiles and Applied Music, and Stephen Kutura, Master's Candidate in Accounting, to sing the National Anthem. Thank you, Macy and Stephen. Please be seated. As I introduce today's platform party, please hold your applause until all are introduced. On my right, your left, Dr. John Buckwalter, Dean, President Richard Myers, Dr. April Mason, Provost, Senior Vice President, and professor in the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Brad Seidner, Senior Vice President and COO, K-State Alumni, Alumni Association. Michael Schartz, Student Commencement Speaker and a Degree Candidate in Dietetics. Macy Burkett, Vocalist and Degree Candidate in Apparel and Textiles. Dr. Bronwyn Fees, Associate Dean of Academic Affairs and Professor, Family Studies and Human Services. Dr. Michelle Toes, Associate Dean of Research, P Professor in Family Studies and Human Services. On my left, your right, Barbara Anderson, Professor and Department Head, Apparel, Textiles, and Interior Design. Dr. Dorothy Durbin, Professor and School Director, School of Family Studies and Human Services. Dr. Michael Ottenbacher, Professor and Department Head, Hospitality Management. Dr. Mark Hobb, Professor and Department Head, Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Dr. Craig Harms, Professor and Department Head, Kinesiology. Dr. Shauna Jordan, Assistant Dean for Student Support and Assistant Professor in the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Please jo join me in welcoming them. Now please welcome Dr. John Buckwalder, Dean of the College of Human Ecology to recognize faculty award winners and our student commencement speaker. The College of Human Ecology is home to many accomplished faculty members. At this time, I invite our students and guests to turn to page 59 in your program 
to read more about a number of highlighted faculty for special recognition. Would you please join me in a round of applause for these five faculty members? <laughs> Graduates, your families and your faculty are so very proud of your accomplishments. We expect that the future will hold great promise for each of you. Today we celebrate your accomplishments at K-State. Michael Schartz will represent the graduating class as the spring 2018 student commencement speaker. Michael, will you please join me at the podium? Michael will graduate with a bachelor's degree in dietetics. The son of Melvin and Carla Schartz of Olathe, Michael has been an active student at K-State. He is a member of the Student Dietetic Association and received and served as boys representative for the Moore Hall Floor Governing Barn. He has served as a lab teaching assistant and as undergraduate management assistant in the campus dining facilities. He has assisted on the research manuscript, Manu Management of Food Allergies in Schools, for the Journal of Child Nutrition and Management. Following graduation, Michael will sit for the National Registration Exam for Dietitian Nutritionists. He hopes to pursue a career in the public school system. The College of Human Ecology is pleased to welcome Michael as he speaks on behalf of the graduating class. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. Uh, I want to thank you for the privilege to speak to you today. So about five minutes after I learned I was chosen to be the commencement speaker, I went and told one of my professors whom I respect dearly. I told her my topic is taking risks. For the last few years, she has taught me the importance of following standards and doing things by the book. But when I told her this news, she told me to, and I quote, go rogue. Uh, now there may be some administrators behind me who just got a little nervous, but do not worry. This is not a risk I'm willing to take. The risks I want to talk about are the ones that we have all faced and overcome in different ways. A few years ago, we all made the decision to leave our homes, families, and friends behind to start a journey at Kansas State. It was a huge risk leaving everything behind, but we soon learned the risk paid off when we became a part of what can only truly be described as a family. Then we all made the decision to join the College of Human Ecology, whose motto states, in a world focused on things, we focus first on people. This motto shows the risk all of our majors have by going against the grain and focusing on people first. But we found our passions and were able to excel. We also each took our own individual risk while at Kansas State, such as applying for internships, studying abroad, running for leadership positions, or cramming for a final the night before. One of the biggest risks I took was applying for a teaching assistant job I did not feel qualified for. Uh, I took, or excuse me, one of the, uh, the person leaving the position was a PhD student who had been excellent and I had just taken the class the year before. I emailed the instructor of the class and said, I may not be qualified, but I'd really like the opportunity to be the food production management lab assistant. And to my surprise, I was given the job. Since it was a class through human ecology, I was able to build friendships with many of my classmates and peers and other majors and was the best job I have had thus far. So just because you may not be qualified for something, it may be worth taking a risk because the experience could be great. So we've all taken so many risks to get to where we are now, but from here we are going to go in different directions and try to achieve different goals. As the saying goes, with great risk comes great rewards, and all of us sitting in this room about to walk across the stage is a testament to that statement. But the risks do not stop today. Our lives are going to present us with many challenges and opportunities that are going to require us to take risks and push ourselves to the limits. So my challenge to all of you is this. When risks present themselves, take them, because you never know how great the reward is going to be. Thank you. And now Dr. Shauna Jordan, Assistant Dean, will now recognize students with academic honors.
Thank you, Michael. It is now my pleasure to recognize students whose academic performance earned cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude honors. 34 have been awarded the designation cum laude. These students have a cumulative K-State grade point average of 3.750 to 3.849. 35 students have been awarded the designation magna cum laude. These students have achieved a 3.850 to 3.949 K-State academic average. 30 students have been awarded the designation summa cum laude, the highest academic honor conveyed by the university. These students have attained a 3.950 or higher cumulative grade point average. Will all of these students please rise who have earned summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum cum laude that we may recognize them now. Please join me in recognizing them. You may be seated. Kappa Makranu is a national honor society dedicated to recognizing and encouraging excellence in scholarship, research, and leadership in human ecology. Kappa Makranu students and faculty are wearing burgundy and cream honor cords today. Eta Sigma Delta is an international honor society for students with an excellent academic record in the hospitality and tourism industry. Eta Sigma Delta students are also wearing cords representing their honor today. At this time, it is my honor and privilege to introduce Dr. April Mason as our distinguished speaker today. April Mason serves as the Provost and Senior Vice President of Kansas State University. As the university's Chief Academic Officer, Provost Mason provides oversight and leadership to the academic dimensions of the university and ensures the university's academic standards. She serves as the second ranking administrator responsible for undergrad and graduate academic programs on three campuses. The deans of the nine academic colleges, the libraries, graduate school, global campus, and the CEOs of both K-State Salina and K-State Olathe report to April. University offices also reporting to Dr. Mason include undergraduate studies, international programs, the Staley School of Leadership Studies, and the Center for Engagement and Community Development. Since her arrival at Kansas State University in January of 2010, Dr. Mason works closely with the president as a key driver of the K-State 2025 strategic plan and is committed to achieving significant progress toward K-State becoming a top 50 public research university by 2025. In cooperation with the Dean's Council and University Governance Councils, she has developed, reviewed, and operationalized a number of policies and goals regarding instruction, research, and outreach programs. In addition, she has instituted several programs to recognize and celebrate the work of K-State students and faculty, including a reception for newly hired faculty, a recognition event for newly tenured and promoted faculty, and an all-university faculty awards reception, as well as an academic convocation ceremony for new students. Provost Mason works closely with the K-State Foundation and President Myers on the university's comprehensive, comprehensive development campaign. It's responsible for the university's academic reporting to the Kansas Board of Regents and serves on several boards, including K-State Athletics and the Association of Public and Land-Grant Universities Association. In addition to her work on campus, Dr. Mason is deeply committed to the future of higher education in Kansas and across the country. She currently serves as a member of the Association of Public and Land-Grant Universities Council on Academic Affairs and the Association of Chief Academic Officers, an affiliate organization of the American Council on Education. Dr. Mason came to K-State from the position of Dean of the College of Applied Human Sciences at Colorado State University. In this position, April gave leadership to the academic programs of the college. Before Colorado State University, April was on the faculty and served as an administrator at Purdue University in the College of Consumer and Family Science in the Department of Foods and Nutrition. 
Dr. Mason holds her doctorate degree in nutrition and her master's degree in botany from Purdue University, West Lafayette, Indiana, and her undergraduate degree in biology from University of Mount Union in Alliance, Ohio. Dr. Mason's faculty home at Kansas State University is as professor in the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Her primary research areas have been food security and nutrient availability from plant food products. Dr. Mason has traveled extensively with her research work, most notably in Costa Rica and Indonesia. Please welcome Provost April Mason. Michael, you gave me an idea. I thought I might say I'm going to go rogue, but I knew the dean would just be really <laughs> upset. So I won't. I'll use my prepared speech. I'm particularly honored to be asked to give this commencement talk for the College of Human Ecology. This college has been my tenure home for the last eight and a half years. The Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health, my department, tenure home. I share something with each of you graduating today. The motto of the college, in a world focused on things, we focus first on people. We've already heard that. That motto, describing the work and study of this college is particularly impactful to me. Things versus people. That describes well what I'd like to share with you today in this commencement address. Education, the gift that just keeps giving. Gift giving. Gift giving can be all about people and not about things. Let me explain. I find gift giving very difficult. I want to get just the right thing that says I understand the person and know what they would want and appreciate. I'm not always successful in my choices. One gift, though, stands out even after 30 years. In 1988, my parents celebrated 50 years of marriage. They had eloped originally, a fact they were not too excited about when my grandmother told us all about it. But we five children decided a party was in order. Fifty years later, it seemed like things were actually going to work out. Party planning was perfect, but the gift ideas were scarce. After much thought came to me in a flash, but all five children of us would have to participate and each would have to trust me. I got the terminal degree original diplomas of all of us. Three PhDs, one master's, and one bachelor of arts. And I copied them onto one large poster and had it framed for our parents. You might assume that the diploma you're getting today and most all diplomas are about the same size. Not so. My brother's PhD from Stanford looked like a postage stamp. My sister's PhD from Berkeley was immense. I tortured a copy shop employee until we had them all the same size and I made them into a poster. We children all knew that the gift had hit the mark when our parents opened the gift and began to cry. My parents gave each of us our education. The first degree was on them. Anything after that was our own doing. It wasn't if you would go to college when I was growing up. It was where. Both my parents were college educated, but not the traditional way. My mother got her degree after five children, and I remember attending some of her classes with her armed with crayons and warned not to make a peep. My mother that day for their anniversary celebration said through her tears that this was the best day of her life. To which my father asked, I thought that was 50 years ago. The gift was just right, but truly the gift was what they had given to each of us. Not the money, of course, that was part of it, but the will 
the dream, the wish to pursue an education. This gift is still with each of us as we continue to learn each and every day. You now have that gift. You have arrived here in many, many different ways. Families have helped, you've taken out loans, scholarships, and probably some debt may have been involved. But you now have the gift of a degree. More importantly, you have the gift of the will to learn. This goes on throughout your life. You have accomplished so much to be here today, and we're very, very proud of you. What you may not realize yet is this is the first step. Now as you go on to employment, advanced degrees, professional school, travel, whatever you will continue, you will continue to learn. You will build on the strong Kansas State University degree foundation you have, but you will always continue to learn. The gift of learning just continues. It keeps giving. That's the exciting part. You ask, how will I continue learning? Some of you may never take a final exam again. You'll have some non-traditional teachers. One of my non-traditional teachers got an honorary doctorate last weekend at Indiana University. I've never met him. Will Shorts of the New York Times crossword puzzle fame was honored with an honorary degree. Will Shorts tortures, I mean teaches me nearly every day with his crossword puzzles. I learn new words, new places, and information every time I complete one of his puzzles. I don't always complete them. You'll have times when you don't have a teacher. You'll have times that you have to figure it out for yourself. International travel in a country that does not use the same language you speak is a great time to figure it out for yourself. You have to make yourself a bit vulnerable, using knowledge you have and making some mistakes. While working in Indonesia years ago, I was told before I left the United States that many bathrooms, the showers, had to have a hot water tank with a switch on it and you had to switch it on before the hot water would come out. My first morning in the guest house in Indonesia, I spent a good 30 minutes looking for the hot water turn on. I discovered this particular guest house did not have such a thing, and I took a cool shower every day for four months. Not so bad in a tropical country that's hot, but I'm glad no one saw me that first day looking for the switch. You'll have mentors that adopt you or that you ask to serve as your mentor. Mentors can be incredibly important. You may find a person you admire and they can teach you things that will assist you for a lifetime. Be open to asking them questions, seeking their counsel, running things by them. Just last weekend, I reviewed the application materials for a former colleague and gave her counsel on a potential new position she was thinking about. I was so pleased to be asked. So many have done the same thing for me over the years. You will teach yourself. Read, read, read. I found the most profound things in books books, articles, blogs, other internet sites, however you consume your reading material. My husband is more tolerant of Kindle downloads than physical books these days as we prepare to move. I used to keep a dictionary close to me while reading. Now I simply pause to look up a word on an electronic device. Yes, I still do that regularly. I looked up a word a number of years ago when I first came to Kansas State, and that very afternoon, as I visited an undergraduate poster presentation, I heard the student use that word. The word was trope, a figurative 
or metaphorical use of a word or expression. Now trope is in my vocabulary. Yes, the list of vocabulary words just keeps getting longer. Read about subjects you like, but challenge yourself and read about things you don't know anything about. Engage in conversation. Be willing to ask questions when you don't understand completely. You will be amazed at how people want to explain and will admire your willingness to ask when you don't know. I've been in meetings, have asked a question, and had someone else say, thank goodness you asked. I didn't know either. Pass the gift of education on to others. Each of my older three grandchildren have had many trips to the library with Nona. We sit and we look at books, read books as they got a little older, and we talk. We look at pictures and we make up great stories to go along with them. I'm looking forward to taking the two younger twins for library visits. Although this takes a little more logistical work, Grandpa may have to assist us. Twins move fast, and I found always in separate directions. Each of you walks across this stage today and has a unique story. We know that. Cherish it. You've overcome adversity. You've had loss. You've had sorrow. You've had happiness. You've had victory. You've had celebration. Only you know the full story. Today we celebrate the accomplishment that has come with that story for each of you. Graduation, a degree, a diploma. It's about this size. More importantly, you have an education, a gift, your gift, one you will always have. The gift that continues to give to you and to others. The gift that comes with a responsibility. You must use that gift, enhance it with new learning, share it with others, and don't ever take it for granted. You did it, graduates. Congratulations to each of you today. You have the gift of education. Now go out and use it. Congratulations. It's my pleasure now to introduce Brad Seidner, Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer for the Kansas State Alumni Association, who will bring you greetings on behalf of the Alumni Association. Brad? Thank you, Provost Mason, and good afternoon, graduates. And again, welcome to all the family and friends that are here today. Well, I am very pleased to be part of this special day. And on behalf of the Kansas State Alumni Association, representing over 275,000 living graduates and friends of Kansas State, we'd like to offer our congratulations on this special accomplishment here today. We are also here to welcome you into a new relationship with your alma mater as you begin this new chapter as a K-State graduate. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. I'd like to share three of the core values that guide us in our mission to help keep you connected with K-State. The first value is link. The Alumni Association provides the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected to your university. And you can stay in touch with alumni activities across campus, across the nation, and even internationally. Another value is tradition. Today you will likely celebrate some K-State traditions, such as singing the alma mater, or maybe you stop to take the KSU photo at your favorite spot on campus. You might also have fond memories of doing the Wabash at a K-State sporting event, or maybe rubbing your favorite bronze statue on campus to ensure an A on a test or a Wildcat victory. 
The third core value is purple. That's right, K-State purple. Because for us K-Staters, purple is more than a color. It's a symbol of pride and connection. Because when you see someone wearing K-State purple or a K-State class ring, or you see a K-State license plate on a vehicle, you immediately feel that sense of family. I'd also like to share that in recognition of your graduation, your College of Human Ecology and the Alumni Association are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to your Alumni Association. And we hope you'll always be an active member of your Alumni Association. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. In fact, you are now part of one of the top five alumni associations and number one in the Big 12 Conference for the percentage of our graduates who are our members. That same loyalty is shared worldwide by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. The Alumni Association was also pleased to have presented to you on your chair as you came in today an exclusive alumni business card holder. And as you go through life and your titles change and your addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated because we want to make sure that you always stay connected to your K-State family. Again, congratulations on this very special accomplishment here today. Be proud of your university. Wear your purple with pride. And as always, let's go K-State. Thank you, Brad. To the graduates of the class of 2018, your graduation is an important occasion. Your family members and friends, many of whom are with us today, have helped you to, to achieve the goal of earning a college degree. Will you please join me in a round of applause for them? In addition, will the faculty in the College of Human Ecology pre please rise so we can acknowledge your efforts. Be seated. And now, the moment we have gathered to celebrate Will all the candidates for degrees from the College of Human Ecology please stand? <laughs> By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective baccalaureate degrees you have earned in the College of Human Ecology at Kansas State University. You may now move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations to the members of the class of spring 2018. You may be seated. At today's ceremony, I invite President Richard Myers and Provost April Mason, Assistant Dean Shauna Jordan, and Assistant Dean Karen Pence to join me for the presentation of diplomas. Barbara Anderson will present the degree candidates from the Department of Apparel, Textiles, and Interior Design. Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Apparel and Textiles and Bachelor of Science in Interior Design. Bachelor of Science in Apparel and Textiles, Colbin Delaney Allen. 
Summa Cum Laude, Mackenzie Lynn Allison. Margaret Siobhan Boffman. Melissa Michelle Bone. Elizabeth Boring. Madison Dawn Brockman. Kirsten Macy Nolan Burkett. Lel Leanne Burris. Madeline Ray Carnes. Carly Nicole Dibler. Mackenzie Doherty. Amber Machin Faluna. Charles E. Colleen Fowler. Sarah Caroline Fox. Catherine Ann Glover. Natasha Roshan Gooden. Brianne Kaya Hardiman. Taylor Marie Hilton. Cum Laude. Kaylee Ashton Horner. <laughs> Mallory Ann Howard. Leanna D. Herder. Chelsea Michelle Irwin. Molly Ray Jackson. Lindsay Tennille Kelly. Erin Elizabeth Key. Margaret Ellen Larhammer. Cum laude, Rebecca Janelle Malley. Magna Cum laude, Allison Nicole Martin. Morgan Marcella Meeks. Kirsten McKenzie Moore. Paige Catherine Miller. Kaylee Nicole, sorry, O'Neill. Carson Christine Overton. Caitlin Louise Peterson. Callie Joy Peterson. Carly Renee Raymeyer. Erica Renee Roberts. Cassidy Ann Roth. Carolyn K. Shell. Hannah Michelle Schmidt. Sydney Lauren Schneider. Dylan Wayne Turgeon. Ia Wang. Allison Paige Woodard. Yele Young. Young Yu. Bachelor of Science in Interior Design, Lama Hiji Alanazi. Citra Leanne Bradford. Karen Marie Branson. 
Brittany Nicole Chastain. Abigail Ann Degenhart. Magna Cum Laude Courtney Lee Dowers. Haley Morgan Duncack. Jiha Kong. Rihanna Page Martin. Aaron Ann McNally. Juwan Park. Tyrell Benjamin Sandoval. Secondary in Gerontology, Katherine Bennett Shaw Smith. Audrey Leanne Kaufman. Elizabeth Verhey. Kayla Ann Weaver. Aubrey Morgan Will. Katherine Lee Zare. Please join me in congratulating our new graduates. Dr. Dor Dr. Dottie Durbin will present the degree candidates from the School of Family Studies and Human Services. Will the degree candidates from the School of Family Studies and Human Services please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services and Bachelor of Science in Personal Financial Planning. Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Communication Sciences and Disorders, Madeline Renee Barber. Cum laude, Lauren Catherine Bretz. Lindsay Marie Bruna. Magna Cum Laude, Secondary in Gerontology, Kelly Michelle Chambers. Secondary in Gerontology, Ashton DeLal. Summa Cum Laude, Mary Ruth Fishburn. Melissa Jacqueline Ginevan. Addie Renee Hermanson. Magna Cum Laude, Aaron Holland Call. Magna Cum Laude, Molly Ann Klein. Mary Charlotte Meredith. Karina Michelle. Magna Cum Laude, Samantha Aaron Powers. Magna Cum Laude, Anne Chloe Prinz. Summa Cum Laude, Blair Morgan Pullman. Caitlin Rochelle Ramsey. Molly McKenna Reeves. Magna Cum Laude, Megan Stein. Summa Cum Laude, Matt McKenzie Marie Thrush. Magna Cum Laude, Secondary in Gerontology Honors Project. Caitlin Renee Waldire. Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Kathleen's diploma will be presented by her father, Dr. Ray Bull, Department Head and Associate Professor, Architectural Engineering and Construction Science.
Kathleen Ann Burnett. Arena Gonio. Jordan Quinn Henry. Cum laude, Elaine Lignitz. Summa cum laude, Joanna Rose Lopez. Megan Elizabeth Sudbeck. Yihan Huang. Family Studies and Human Services, Philip C. Adams II. <laughs> Secondary in Gerontology, Danielle Elizabeth Allen. Haley Renee Amsbacher. Gina Danielle Avitia. Connolly Rose Barnes. Mallory Anna Marie Basca. Cum laude, Emily Jane Bauer. Chazelle Beatrix Barrett. Kelly Louise Bruna. Amara Danae Campbell. Cassidy Lynn Carlson. Tristan Michael Carlson. Caitlin M. Cherry. Kaylee Elizabeth Clark. Summa cum laude, Alyssa Ann Cole. Anissa Katarine Elois Davenport. Amy Nicole Davis. Margaret Denman DeBusk. Magna Cum Laude, Abigail Marie Dirksen. Tasha Renee Drake. Krista Drops. Magna Cum Laude, Francesca Danielle Esposito. Lorena Melissa Faircloth. Summa Cum Laude, Janelle Kathleen Feldman. Leah Marie Fields. Jordan Lorene Freeman. Stacy Brianna Gann. Rachel Marie Garrison. Grace Catherine Geist. Magna Cum Laude, Brooke Nicole Glassnap. Summa Cum Laude, Sarah Ananya Greer. 
Natalie Catherine Hahn. Cum laude, Jennifer Brooklyn Hammond. Naomi Renee Henry. Taylor Hayden Herzberg. Samantha Elizabeth Hillstock. Magna Cum Laude, Kaylin Ann Hoke. Alexandra Dale Holmes. Summa Cum Laude, Honors Project, Laura Caitlin Haas. Jared Michael Howard. Claire Catherine Jaggers. Lauren Dorothy Jamison. Chandler Lauren Kemp. Madison Joe Lancaster. Secondary in Gerontology, Ashley Marie Lance. Summa cum laude, secondary in gerontology, Kelly Ann Lehu. Sophia Marie Lehman. Cum laude, Lindsay Aaron Lowe. Brian Michael Madrigal. Summa cum laude, Kristen Danielle Marceau. Tessa Ann Marie Matthews. Michaela Janice Matthews. Magna Cum Laude, Stephanie K. Munson. Nicolette Noel Nemeth. Emma Leanne Owens. Myra Pacheco. Cum laude, Elena Susan Parker. Magna Cum laude, Regina Ray Farmer. Paige Stephanie Peterson. Alex Lee Potts. Emily Rose Privatera. Dual degree, secondary in gerontology, Mary Elizabeth Privatera. Magna Cum Laude, Anna Grace Rackley. Olivia Carey Redelsheimer. Secondary in gerontology, Elizabeth Kennedy Reimer. Harley Kirsten Russelo. Austin Gregory Savage. Cum laude, Hannah Jo Savage. Mackenzie Lee Savage. Cum laude, Brianna Renee Schartz. Summa cum laude, dual degree, Michael Kent Schifrel. Secondary in gerontology, Rachel Renee Sievert. Summa cum laude, Kaylee Nicole Seifert. James Michael Shin. Cum laude, Kelly Nicole Smith. Michaela Catherine Smith. Jessica Erin Sorensen. Christina Caroline Stanberry. 
Leanna Lene Sundin. Secondary in Gerontology, Kelsey Joan Super. Kylie Jane Taylor. Megan Lynn Thomas. Samantha Catherine Thomas. Cum laude, Jessica Grace Thompson. Caitlin Alfano Thompson. Madison Gates Unruh. Leanne Lucille Walker. Magna Cum Laude, Anna Michelle Watkins. Secondary in Gerontology, Camille Aislinn Whiteside. Summa Cum Laude, Secondary in Gerontology, Mallory Ann Wilhite. Troy Bryant Wilkins. Carolyn Jean Zapata. Human Development and Family Science, Greer Michelle Hartman. Evelyn Cynthia Johnson. Cum laude, dual degree, Kelly Aubrey King. Secondary in Gerontology, Hannah Nicole Steele. Bachelor of Science in Personal Financial Planning, Allison Margaret Becker. Madison May Burton. Mary Herb. <laughs> Aubriana Nicole Graham. Garrett Michael Herder. Kyler Allen Jost. Nolan Marcus Keim. Christopher James Klug. Summa Cum Laude, Scott Thomas McGehee. Joseph Kenneth Napsiger. Colton Walker. <laughs> Masters in Personal Financial Planning, Pedro Hero. Please join me in congratulating our new graduates. <laughs> Dr. Mark Hobb will present the degree candidates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health please rise? <laughs> Dean Bulkwalter. I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Bachelor of Science in Dietetics, and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition. Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Secondary in Gerontology, Kyle James Allison. Aaron Mackenzie Kaufman. Summa Cum Laude. Amanda Christine Frakes. Cum laude, Abigail Ann Hogan. Summa cum laude, Shelby Lynn Hunt. Sydney Ann Mart. Austin James Meese. Secondary in Gerontology, Catherine Ann Wonder. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics, Iris Lorraine Bem.
Secondary in Gerontology, Emily Ioni Becker. Dual degree, Polly Janine Brown. Aloma Chanelli Castle. Cum laude, Kaylin Melinda Chapman. Secondary in Gerontology, Kaylee Nicole Dick. Cum laude, Lauren Jane Dunning. Cum laude, Annie Elizabeth Eller. Cum laude, Marine May Graham. Summa cum laude, Aubrey Marie Griffin. Honors Project, Mary Christina Haster. Jordan Alexandria Horsmeyer. Tanya R. Humphrey. Courtney Morgan Clemma. Magda Cum Laude, Samantha Joe Krause. Nicole Kresick. Mark Kiichi Kusaka. Brittany Jean Lamb. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Health, Claire Elizabeth Lees. Laura Jane Mayer. Cum laude, Morgan Lee McCall. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics and Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Health, Magna Cum Laude, Angela Marie Merwin. Paulina Amelia Molino. Shreya Mungay. Jolene Elizabeth Murray. Bailey Nicole Peck. Paige Marie Pawson. Commencement speaker, magna cum laude, Michael Nicholas Schartz. Denise Michelle Skinner. Lene Sarah Sleddy. Magna cum laude, Tiffany Marianne Standerwick. Jennifer Mary Thompson. Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Health. Cum laude, Secondary in Gerontology, Michaela Ann Altus. Secondary in Gerontology, Courtney Elena Borkerding. Kimberly Joy Braddock. Dual degree, Holly Janine Brown. <laughs> Megan Marie Champion. Secondary in Gerontology, Anna Ray Comer. Hannah May Cornelius. Secondary in Gerontology, Cynthia Lynn Desilier. Kanan Lee Endicott. Secondary in Gerontology, Chantal Elizabeth Forbes. Kaylin Marie Fowler. Secondary in Gerontology, Georgianne Nicole Gilchrist. 
Secondary in Gerontology, Randy Guan. Secondary in Gerontology, Angeliki Ariana Hiscock. Brianna Page Hoskinson. Cum laude, Taylor Marissa Ireland. Chelsea Mary Kindle. Raylynn Jane Crable. Kelly Nicole Marriott. Shelby Lynn Matthews. Summa cum laude, Jacqueline Lee Means. Shelby Ann Mertz. Secondary in Gerontology, Victoria Caroline Moravic. Magna cum laude, Secondary in Gerontology, Meredith McKenna Morris. Jolene Elizabeth Murray. Tyler James Blair Raby. Secondary in Gerontology, Emily Elizabeth Rennie. Holly Danielle Schneider. Anna L. Sharp. Madeline Helen Singleton. Secondary in Gerontology, Mackenzie Lane Stever. Alexis Ann Walstead. Cum laude, Catherine Rose Wilbur. Secondary in Gerontology, Frances Marie Wooldridge. Nutritional Sciences, Cum laude, Secondary in Gerontology, Savannah Taylor Clark. Summa cum laude, Caitlin Rose Dugan. Randy Brianne Grover. Connor Lynn McGovern. Leela Victoria Sebo. Summa cum laude, Caitlin Elizabeth Stevie. Master of Science in Human Nutrition, Jayshan Adhikari. Please join me in congratulating our new graduates. <laughs> Dr. Michael Ottenbacher will present the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management please rise? Dean Bockwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management and Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Magna Cum Laude, Laura Elizabeth Apple. Alexandra Jordan Belter. Miranda Adriana Hansel Burks. Maria Lourdes Rose Pemi Domingo. Taylor Egan. Toriu Cortland Griswold. Abby Dorsey Haddock. Brittany J. Haynes. Madeline Claire Heater, <laughs> Ashley Fallon Husong, <laughs> Jackie Tian Truck Win, <laughs> 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 
Emily Marie Kleisner, Elaine Marie Cruz, Min Sop Lee, Catherine Marilyn Lochner, Madeleine Kathleen Mail, Cum Laude, Michela Marie Moyer, John Gavin Mokley, Alicia Nicole Neer, Eleanor Rose Nicholson, Danielle Marie Knoll, Maureen Adaimbo Abdul, Catherine Ann Orndorf, Chelsea Marie Paul, Marielle Elizabeth Robert, John Stephen Psyche, Clue Ray Michelle Simmons, Kaylin Faye Smith, Michaela Bass Stevenson, William Christopher Tucker, Taylor Lean Underwood, Emily Ann Van Dyke, Kayla Lean Van Tulinar, Hailey Nicole Wells, Natalie Lynn Windham, Jolene Olivia Jankovic, Bowen Yu, please join me in congratulating our new graduates. Assistant Dean Karen Pence will present the degree candidates for the Department of Human Ecology. Will the degree candidates from Human Ecology please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Human Ecology. General Human Ecology, Kimberly Don Castle. Lillian Joy Fernhaber. Jordan Chanel Jackson. Carly, Carly Joanna Mischler. Cassandra Jean Clausen. Family, Family and Consumer Sciences Education, summa cum laude, Halston Elise Field. Magna Cum Laude, Alita May Friedemann. Kendra Ray Friend. Cum Laude, Courtney Rose Harris. Jillian Taylor Markham. Courtney Elizabeth Ann Mayhew. Katrina Johanna Polson. Magna Cum Laude, 
Erica Elaine Schmitz. Magna cum laude, Allison Nicole Sears. Cum laude, Danielle Lynn Shirley. Please join me in congratulating our new graduates. Dr. Craig Harms will present the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology please rise? Dean Buckwalter, I present the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Sydney Jean Anson. Summa cum laude, Taylor Marie Apley. Savannah Elise Ardry. Elizabeth Maxine Arnold. Brandon Alexander Barnes. Secondary in Gerontology, Caitlin McKenzie Bell. James Bishop. Magna cum laude, secondary in Gerontology, Kate Opal Bowen. Denton Craig Branscombe. Brianna Marie Brenneman. Mackenzie Marie Bridges. Alec Butanus. Caitlin Ashley Casey. Gabrielle Elise Compton. Alina Marie D'Angelo. Kez McCain Demby. Bradley Luray Denton. Jonah Marcus Doman. Cody Allen Eckert. Kane Russell Ellis. Timothy Dean Ellis. Michael James Frampton. Magna cum laude, secondary in gerontology, Amanda Michaela Goebel. Taylor Rose Golay. Daniel Joel Goodno. Taylor John Graff. Sierra Nicole Grimm. Christina Guzman. Jacob Andrew Hargis. Cum laude, Amelia Merlene Harrington. Cum laude, Cameron Scott Haug. Magna cum laude, Ryan Page Heft. Bailey Don Henry. Nathan William High. Elliot Jane Holcomb. Andrew Gary Horn. Cum laude, secondary in gerontology, Ryan Kathleen Horton. Secondary in Gerontology, Lily Michelle Huckabee. Secondary in Gerontology, Sandra Ibarra. Magna cum laude, Carson Edward Jennings. Taylor Jean Johnson. Gabrielle Andre Jordan. 
Grace Marie Jordan. Carly Nicole Chris. Justin Donald Kuhlman. Summa Cum Laude, Olivia Nicole Kunkel. Secondary in Gerontology, Carter Ann Lundgren. Pedro Ivan Marquez. Summa Cum Laude, Shailen Day Martin. Mark Zachary Martinez. Madeline Elizabeth May. Cassidy Rachel McCumber. Cum laude, Jacob Allen McIntyre. Hannah Diane Middleton. Jordan Dewan Noyle. Cecily Ciara Amali. Brooke Nicole Panning. Summa Cum Laude, Luke Michael Plummer. Dina Marie Pearson. Paula Janelle Powell. Summa Cum Laude, Alexandra Betty Patachek. Reina Marie Ramirez. Matthew Ruben Reeves. Michelle Reznikova. Dual degree, Shea Judith Roy. Shelby Jennings Saylor. Daniela Nicole Santos. Magna Cum Laude, Olivia Victoria Schmidtberger. <laughs> Abigail Sue Siperda. Nicole Elizabeth Simon. <laughs> Nicole Lynn Sisson. Dalton Shadley Stoss. Isaac Daniel Tarango. Secondary in Gerontology, Ryan Thomas Terry. Devin James Tate. Caitlin Alyssa Taylor. Anthony Thomas Troilo. Spencer Cole Truman. <laughs> Vanessa Rose Garcia Turpin. <laughs> Alexis Marie Van Boning. Magna Cum Laude, Dana Renee Weaver. <laughs> Hannah Rose Wessel. Russell Thomas White. <laughs> Megan Taylor Williamson. Yeah, and, uh, Daniel Richard Winslow. <clears throat> Please join me in congratulating all of our new graduates.
Graduates, you came to Kansas State University from all corners of the world, and for a brief moment in time, your lives converged in the classrooms and laboratories and studios in the College of Human Ecology. It has been for us a privilege to help you learn. From here, your lives will once again diverge as you pursue advanced degrees and careers, and as you follow your passions through as yet unknowable life pursuits. As you start your new lives, I'd like to leave you with a couple of thoughts. Do not think of your newly minted degree as a ticket to a specific place, but rather as a passport that can take you to an unlimited number of destinations. Indeed, as privileged passport holders, you will have access to places that you cannot even imagine. Embrace the journey. Be generous with your time, talents, and resources. As college graduates, you are a privileged group. Take others along with you on this fabulous journey. Invest yourself in the lives of others, your community, and your alma mater. The College of Human Ecology and Kansas State University are extremely proud of each of you. Please stay connected to your K-State family. We can't see, we can't wait to see where your journey takes you. Once again, congratulations and best wishes to the College of Human Ecology graduating class of 2018. At this time, I'd like to invite you to stand and join Macy Perquette and Stephen Kuchera in the singing of the alma mater, the first time as alumni. The words are printed on page three of your program. At the end of the refrain, would the audience please be seated for the recessional? <laughs> 